guys, Retro's YT back here with you again in our second part of our playthrough, our collections challenge. We're here with Liana Romans again. Thanks for joining me. Well, of part one, what we did for Liana is we just foraged around her area here, got what we could from the park next door, we met some of the locals with a welcome wagon. They gave us some fruit cake, which will keep us a day or two. Uh, yeah, that's basically what we did first episode. Now we're just going to take Liana to the park so she can do some foraging there. Uh, quite cl <laughs> clearly, she needs to use the facilities, and the park has <laughs> bathroom bathroom facilities that she can utilize as well. So here we go, Bangdalia Blossom Park. It's funny, I realized I was listening over my first episode with Liana, and I was talking about the fish, and I said that the fish, if you sell them from your inventory, they're gone. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant to say. Um, what I meant was when something is not in your inventory in the game, it tends to take it out of your collection is what I meant to say. Like you never had it in your collection, even though you did, if you sell it. Fish are not like that. It doesn't matter if you sell them after you've, caught them or not they still say stay as part of your collection so that's all I meant and for whatever reason the other collections don't tend to do that if you sell them they're just gone from your collection and you have to recollect them so that's what I meant to say made a little goof there but I wanted to clear it up before anybody called me on it oh I bet she feels better now she's gone to the potty after that I mean we can start talking to some people I'm kind of feeling that but I also Here's our pond, our nice friendly pond. I want to start looking for some frogs and fishing, seeing what we can find. Obviously, for her being homeless, the park is going to be a big place for her. Got these grills again. This is actually an established park, uh, not like the one that's right beside our house, but you know, they, they work pretty well the same. There's just more people frequented here and it's better decorated. Actually, I think it's very well deck very the game is very pretty i know there's a lot of bugs and things that we want them to fix with the sims but it's still a very very pretty game they do put a lot of work into it right now it's nighttime so you can't see quite as much of what we're doing here but we'll come back again in the daytime but see even the blades of grass that is so cool i wish i was knew how to do stuff like that so my props to the creators all right tetra now, when we level up a little bit more, she can use these smaller fish to bait her hook and get bigger fish. She's not quite there yet, though, so I can't remember what ex exactly what level it is when we can do that, but at some point here, what'd you catch? Ooh, a koi. Koi's are pretty. And these are all excellent rating. I don't know if it has to do with my her collector's curator status or not but she's catching really good fish she's great for us because we need the money did she catch a frog we have a frog but i think that's from the other park next to our house yeah she must not i didn't notice but she must not have been able to catch them Ew. Ew, she says <laughs> throw back the seaweed what happened with the frogs? Did she just not... Oh, they were too slippery. Okay. I have to clear that every once in a while because I tend to forget to do that and then it stacks up with all these notifications. Let her fish a little bit more. She's about to make another level and then we'll go look around for forage. I do want to start talking to people soon. Right now she's just been so focused on getting things to survive. She really hasn't talked to anybody yet. We are going to do that. The social interaction is fun, but I just really wanted her to to get some stuff so we can get some money. I, oh, level three. You can now use bait. Okay, level three. We can use bait to catch bigger, better fish. You can, Liana can then examine the water near fishing spots to study fish movements and identify new fish. And I can catch fish using fish traps, which I've never done before in ocean water. And I can now catch mahi-mahi. All right, cool. Okay, so what's this? She wants to go chat with Malcolm. Oh, that's fine. She's been so focused on other things. Go ahead and talk to Malcolm. Where he is. Is that him here? 
think he is this Malcolm. Yeah. Oh, Malcolm Landgrab. Interesting. I don't want to play chess. You know, I was gonna have her go talk, but I'm really in the mood for that. <laughs> and Malcolm Landgrab, really. So let's go find some stuff to forage. This is a part two. Um, there's a stone she can dig at. I know there's, there's a frog. There's the frogs. We get some frogs. As soon as we get two, we can breed them. And up on the hill, if I can find it, in my negative direction sense. Looks like there might be free food over there too. Um, up on the hill, there is. Yeah, we're in the right area. There's some other stones and stuff for her. Oh, and more frogs. There's frogs everywhere. Yeah, here, here we go. Up on this hill. Just give her some more stuff to to get. Ooh, that's pretty. See, they put so much attention into the details. Look, we're still sticking out of that. What'd you get? Treasure map, nice. I know you're tired, but please hurry up. <laughs> yeah, we're we're definitely gonna have to have her sleep on one of the benches in the park. That's another reason I came up here because of the ample supply of comfy benches for us to nap on, which we don't have at our home. Striped eggplant frog. You know when she's over here. Now that we have that treasure map, I'm going to alter it a little bit so that when she goes for the rock, the second rock, she'll be searching for treasure. And maybe we can get something really nice. Another crystal's poking out. Oh, another treasure map. Okay. All right. Oh, she's looking for frogs. Let's change this. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Treasure? Yes, dig for treasure. See if you get anything really awesome. That's what we got, Liana. Why does it take so long? Oh, a capsule! Those are always very, very exciting because you never know what's going to be in it. And when you're doing collections, that's a big deal. Violet. Ooh, she's a rare one. Nice. And we have another treasure map. And we have more than two frogs. We can actually breed these now. So let's breed the sunflower frog with... Let's do the striped eggplant frog. Ooh, 200 points. I bred a new frog. What did we get? Tiger frog. Awesome. All right. Yeah. And that is how we do the breeding. Okay. Now, she is exhausted, so let's go find a nice comfy bench here. They're up around the bathroom. Okay. And she can go ahead and nap, get her energy up. She needs it. And then we'll get her some hygiene since she's right here next to the facilities. You know, some people think that using the public bathrooms and stuff is cheating when you're doing a let's play or not a let's play but a rags to riches i don't think it is i mean homeless people use them they use public facilities and you use what you need when you're homeless you use what's there it's all about being resourceful so i see absolutely nothing wrong with that all right let's get you some sleep girly out So yeah, the park is kind of going to be our second home for now until we start getting some things at home. We have some collection stuff going on here nicely, but we don't really have money. So, unscrupulous, what? Bob says, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? No. Bob, notorious for what? Nobody knows that I'm a kleptomaniac. I haven't flaunted it. What the heck? Plus, it's Bob, and I don't like you, Bob. <laughs> All right, let's breed the tiger frog with a heart frog and see what happens. Oh, we got duplicate sunflower frogs, which is okay. I would have been happier with a newer frog, but still, we can sell that duplicate. Some money, mo' money, which we need. 
Okay, she's she's almost done sleeping. What is it says her fruit cake? Yeah, okay. Cause she needs to eat. She's starving. And she's icky. Which we'll fix in just a minute here. Okay, yeah. Eat your fruit cake. Unless there's some free f no, there's no free food yet. I guess this I was gonna say it's too early, but it's actually eleven thirty five. So it's not, not too early. Alright. Not to fed your belly. Go take care of your bladder. And then we're right here, so we might as well go ahead and use the sinks and stuff. Just brush your teeth and wash your hands for a while. And again, this is just, you know, sort of emergency mode for her. She doesn't have anything else to use, so she's going to use these. And I'll have her change her outfit, too, because I think she got a little soggy in this one. Ooh. What's the weather like? Light rain and cold. Well, maybe it'll stop raining when she goes out. Maybe? That'd be nice. Look at these beautiful trees. I freaking love these. I love flowering trees anyway. And just the way they drape at the pond. It's, it's so gorgeous. I wish we had a, pond, a park like that around here. We do not. Where I live. I do you live in the States? I live in Pennsylvania. So, hey, Pennsylvania. If any of you are from Pennsylvania as well. Oh, Yano, Esther, oh, I know what you're going to ask. Do you wish you looked as happy as I do? Oh, you have the power. Just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a simoleon away. Hang up. But our telemarketing scam was... Click. <laughs> Sorry, Bess. Not really into telemarketing. Who's that? Olive? Olive? I don't see an... Oh, it's a kid. I guess she can talk to her. It's not going to hurt anything. She's still trying to... Pretty stinky. Hi, Olive. Olive, you Jerome. look like a geek in training. Jerome. That's okay hey for with me. I love Bosa. geeks. I am a geek. I don't know if Liana is or not, but I'm not going to hurt to talk to her. Look at her raise her eyebrow. That was great. Did you see that? <laughs> All right. Continue getting your hygiene up. You're still icky. Oh, something she said that kid did not like. Sorry, kid. Don't have anything to give you or... What is this? Hip bump. I wonder if you can hip bump a kid. Come back here, Olive. Let's see if we can hip bump you. Whoa, stop moving. Sometimes they just move so fast. Yes, I can. That you have to pause it just to get a hold of them. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Oh. Just stop saying it. I don't want to get copyrighted here, but... Anybody know... If any of you know where that's from, drop a comment below. I'm just curious if you do. I, for whatever reason, know a song for just about any occasion. It doesn't matter what it is. So if I start singing, I'm going to try to change the lyrics to fit the occasion here in the game. But yeah, I'm going to be singing and humming. Woo! Now does Olive like us? We's cool, man. Give her a pep talk, too. We do need some social. Oh, Knox. I always thought Knox was kind of hot. He's the guy from that ego. Eco place? Wingle we'll play chess kids. with them because I need a little bit of fun. <laughs> and then, nobody's grilling. I was kind of hoping somebody would. But we can check at home. I'll go home and we can, uh, we can harvest some more flowers. Be nice if it was something more than the snapdragons because they just aren't not profitable. But, you know, whatever. So we'll do that next, but I want. Hey! Olive, kid, you took my seat, man. I was gonna play chess with Hot Knox here. He even has the cool little eyebrow piercing. I like that. It's pretty cute. Who shall leave? No, well, now he's leaving. Dang it. He's here. I don't know that I want to get together with him. We're way, it's way too early in the series for that, but it's not gonna hurt to talk to him. Is this Bess? Yes. She's the one that called me and was trying to get me to... You heard telemarketing scan. Why can't I talk to him? I know he was um, playing in the rain, but let's talk to him. Who knows? Maybe farther on down the line, we'll hit on Knox. Right now, we're just too busy. Trying to live, getting established. Dag, dag, I heard that. <laughs> He's about interest. Uh, career, because we always ask about that. Get to know. Not gonna hurt anything. 
Wow, she really is enthusing, isn't she? Get to know, get to know, get to know. There. Unemployed? He has a job when you play him in the eco place. Okay, she's cold. Let's change her outfit. Dag, dag. Fix that. What is this now? Go for a jog. We can do that. Of course, that'll take our hygiene down again. I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that yet. But I am going to take her home here in a second. Yeah, it's holiday all day. Oh, look at him going through the trash cans. Wow. Okay. Did our park visit. Now let's go home. I wish we had some more money, but we're going to keep going. Let's see what we can find here. Maybe when we get home, there'll be something really awesome there. Never know. Just think positively. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh, they haven't respawned enough to where we can gather them yet. These are getting there. Is anything respawned? Well, we're a higher fishing level, so maybe she can catch something interesting. Here, let's examine the water since we just learned how to do that. Got that level. What does the water have to say? Oh, I don't want to use my frogs. Let's just go fishing. What's the water have to say, Liana? Hmm. Stare, stare. Look at her stare at it. <laughs> The water is full of activity and movement. Liana spots a hungry guppy just waiting to be caught. Guppy, really? Liana recorded more information about this discovery in the notebook. Okay, well, at least she knows that the fish are plentiful. Go fishing. Why didn't you? I already clicked that. Eco lifestyle Eureka. She has woken to the value of an eco-friendly lifestyle. That's from talking to Knox. He'll do that. Sure, we can catch early on, and we need money badly. Badly! Oh. <laughs> Why is it. I mean, she. I know she's not like an expert fisherman, but I thought she would have been catching more by now. Oh, here we go. Gummy Guppy! Now, I could sell it for. Oh, it's excellent quality and rare. I could sell it for 33 or we could use it and try to catch a better fish with it. I don't, 33 is pretty good right now for fish. I don't know if... What do you guys think? Should we use it to try to bait? I think we're going to do that just to see what happens. There. Maybe I don't... I hope I don't regret that. Let's see. That was 33 bucks for the Gummy Guppy uh -oh. that I'm just giving away now to see. On. Gummy Guppy. Let's see what we catch with it, see if it was worth the 33 bucks that we spent on it. Of course, a bit of a gamble, but let's see. Meet someone new at the lounge. I don't really feel like going to the lounge right now, but... There's another kid. I'm seeing a lot of kids in this one. Okay, while she's doing that, and I, I want to see what, how much, if it was worth the gamble. Oh, but while she's doing it, look at that smorgasbord, free food again. I want to go and see if there's anything else she can harvest while we're... No. Voting. I thought I turned... Oh, rough housing. That means she's probably going to get into a fight. I thought I turned voting off, but I guess I didn't. What's this? Oh, that's the mushrooms. Nothing's really respawned yet. I thought by now it might have. Tembaki? Okay, that's the one we caught. How much is it worth? 50! Hey! All right, it paid off. Excellent. Rosebush, how is she on a hunger? Uh, she's okay-ish on hunger right now, but she's getting tired again, so I guess it is 6.30. It's almost the time she went to bed last night, so we should probably grab some food and then um, go back to the park so she can sleep. We don't really have enough money right now to do anything else as far as buying anything. Hello there. Hello there. But we will get there. Sorry about that. 
is my timer to let me know that I'm getting close to time to stop for this episode. But I'm at least going to have her catch another fish, eat some food, and then she'll, we'll take her back to the park before we close. But come on. Glad that my gamble paid off. So, yeah, I'm talking about it here. And let's, I haven't sold him yet. Let's go ahead and sell him. Okay, that gives her 117 bucks. We're getting there. We got something. And I think we can breed some frogs again. I haven't bred the heart frog yet. Let's breed the heart frog with a sunflower frog this time. Bred a new friend. Oh, it's two sunflowers, but that's okay. 30 bucks for the duplicate. Always a little bit. Got 147 bucks. I'm trying to think what we could get with that. I think... Here's the thing. I think we might have just enough money to get... Um, a cooler right now so she could do food right at her her uh, lot but the thing is she's got these two parks and you saw the park next to her lot over here it's almost always got food there so we don't necessarily need that right away I'm trying to think what the most productive thing would be for her to get I know some people like to get tents for their sims when they do rag stretches I don't really think it's worth it because temp tents are kind of expensive. And by the time you get you get a tent, you could get, you know, something else. You could have a few walls around you. So I don't know that that's really the best way we could spend our money. I could get... No, I can't get a shower. It's too expensive. It's not really that much money we have here. I'm trying to think something we could get. Ah! Pea bush! Why don't we do that? That's a good use, but you, good use of our money. For now, you know, at the beginning here. That way she can use that to go to the bathroom. We'll have to go off to a lot to go to the bathroom. That's a good use, I think. A good start. And she still has 97 bucks left. And I'm going to hold on to that. Save it up a little bit and see if we can get something else for her. Okay. One more fish, Liana. And then go over and eat that if it's not bad. And then we'll take you back to the park so you can, get, you can uh, go to sleep. Interestingly, so far, it kind of working out that each of these episodes is about a day in her life, which is pretty, pretty good. I think it's working out. Future cube. Okay, I really don't need that. Actually, I can sell this, and I think we can. Oh, we can sell for three hundred twenty-five bucks, guys. We're not going to need the future cube. That's a lot of money for her. Four hundred and twenty-two, and she's almost going to level up in fishing too. Hey, man, this is we're doing very well. So now we get to figure out what we can spend that money on. We got a pea bush. So we don't need that right away. We could get her cooler. Then she could spend more time at her house instead of the... Instead of the... In the park all the time. She just caught a discus. New fish. Very pretty colored. 18 bucks. So, alright. Let's get her the food. What should I get her? It is kind of annoying at the park to go through and have to, you know, brush her teeth a bunch of times. So maybe we can try to get her a shower or a bath. Of course, without walls, she'll be <laughs> she's going to be bathing in the middle of every uh, bit of her lot out in front of everybody. But I don't think at the moment she's going to care too much about that. I think we should, that's totally, let's get her a bath or a shower. I really like the combination of bath showers, but I don't think she's going to have enough money for that. Nah, she doesn't. I could get uh, my secret spa tub, or I could get her a shower. I don't want to spend. I want to spend as little money as I can. So I think that was three fifty. What are the showers? Ooh, that's still oh, yeah. They're more expensive. Let's get our bath. Plus, with the bathtub, she can use it for other stuff. Like she can soak in it uh, to relieve stress. What color should I get her? A lot of times with my Sims, I'll color code them, give them a favorite color, stuff that they, you know, like for their furniture and like to wear. I'm going to do it yellow. And for right now, I'm just going to stick it back there because, you know, it doesn't matter where I put it. She's still going to be out in the middle of nowhere. So there, she's got something like a bathroom. She's got a pea bush and a bathtub. And that's a start, man. She's getting food next door. So things are going great. Where are you going to that food? Alright. We'll get her full up on her food. 
and then she can go back to the park and, well, no. We'll get her full up on her food and then she can go utilize her brand new shower. Well, the soaks, I'm not going to use those yet because they cost money, but it, the option's there for when we need it. So we'll let her finish her food and then go take a bath. Wait, 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 who are you? You're kind of cute. Oh, uh, we'll see if we can catch him before he gets very far. Oh, we're done. What's that? Emotionally mindful. Finding emotional control is a journey. You've taken the first step, but to gain true emotional control requires more slow time through various thoughtful activities. Okay, I, that's one of those new things, I guess, from the new pack. Emotional things. I know you. You're Wolfgang Munch. I think you're pretty cute. So, I'm going to say hi to you. You're still a teenager, and I'm a young adult, but when you grow up, because I'm going to have a very long, long young adulthood, maybe you'll keep us in mind. At least, uh, Please say hello. Uh, we'll get our bath. I just want to get to know. Oh, he must be. I clicked on it, but he must be walking away. It's okay. We'll see him again. We'll just get her a... Oh, yeah, you know, I don't need to go to the bathroom anymore to <laughs> use the facilities. I have my pee bush right here. But I don't have a bed yet, so we're going to have to go there to sleep. We'll have her get her hygiene up here in the bath and then fertilize the bush. And then we can take her over to the park to, park to sleep. Yeah, the artful pixels. Love it. I, that's great that we were able to afford the bathtub and pee bush already. We're, we're making great progress. And I have another treasure map for next time we do that. Can I breed any more frogs. Common, uncommon. All right, let's read the tiger frog. Read the tiger frog with sunflower. Okay, well, got us another tiger frog. And that's worth 35 bucks. Good stuff. Oh, no, please don't get bit. I really don't want you to get bit. <laughs> Look at her. I love it. Her feet sticking out. Now, actually, for a woman, that would be very impractical. Well, I don't know. It's just funny, the way they have her in there. <laughs> She's taking care of business. What are you unhappy about? Oh, you're wet and revolting bush. Bush has been used before with someone. Ew! I didn't use it. Oh, gross. Somebody passing by must have come onto my lot and used my pea bush. Oh, that's disgusting. Ugh. Well, our hygiene... What, what, what are you doing? No, don't sleep where you pee. That's disgusting, Liana. Ugh. Her hygiene only went down a little bit, though. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave Liana here at, for now. We are, are going to take her to the park next. Get her so, get her a nap. Get her some sleep. See what we can do to forage. But, hey, guys, we're making great progress. I mean, look at our list of stuff. We've got four frogs. We've got three figurines. One, two, three, four uh, fossils. We've got a treasure map and some fruit cake if she needs it. The uh, park next door for food if we need it. We're doing great. We've got a long ways to go, but we're doing awesome. So anyway, thank you for joining me today, today, guys. I hope you're loving the series so far. If you are, please drop me a like and a subscribe, and I would love to see you again. So this is Retro signing out for now, guys. Bye.